All right, and here I am at the the stone thing at the other side of the hill. I don't have a clue what that is, um, but maybe I'll find out as I kind of explore. You get another view from here. There's the island over there. Uh, you can see there are some. Sorry, I know the focus is bad. You can see some houses and stuff there, and then here is one of those little, what do you call these things? Viewers? Stuff that you put your coin in and you get to see good? Which is uh, pointed right there at the island town, so you can spy on the islanders. I, I don't know what that's for. Um, right, pavilion. Uh, some sort of stone structure over here about pebbles uh, which I, I think is supposed to be a map maybe maybe this is Surumi here uh, you can see like I've been driving along the coast because that's where the main road is and you can see what a winding road that is uh, yeah yeah so this is Surumi here uh, it looks like this is where we are here so yeah, with the aid of this trusty stone map, you can see that the main road here, what I assume I was on the main road, is right along the coast. So it's been kind of a, to get a very kind of short distance as a crow flies, I've been kind of doing all this winding around the coast, but it, it's been an absolutely beautiful drive. Uh, now this here says, I don't know what this is. Bungo, maybe a place name, and then Suido means um, plumbing or water pipes. Uh, I don't know if this has anything to do with the local water, but what's interesting is the door is wide open. Like uh, every other place, the door has been closed, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go down there or not, but I gotta tell you, I'm very tempted. Just, I think I'm just gonna go down and take a look. Maybe that leads to some of those other caves, bunker type things we saw earlier. And now, th now those were all locked, but this, uh, the door is wide open, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. All right, going down the stairs. Don't know what this is. Some sort of tunnel down there. And here I am at the bottom. Well, whatever else you can say about this place, it's nice and cool. Watch my head. Boy, this place really echoes. You know what, I'm gonna get out my uh, pin light on my cell phone. All right, well, now that I've got my uh, cell phone shining, I can see a little better. Uh, watch my stuff here. This is, there's something about water pressure power, I don't know if this is a hydroelectric place or not. Um, either this is abandoned or Or it's the uh, day off today. Oh yeah, and uh, that that's where I came from earlier. Well, my proposition about this being some sort of secret army barracks during the war was was completely off. It looks like. This is some sort of hydroelectric plant, perhaps? Or both? The old army barracks, they really it. What's down here? Um, 
I don't know if any of this at all is showing up at camera. I mean, uh, I've, I've got more than enough night to, uh, to see where I'm going and stuff like that, but maybe not enough light for it to tape. Uh, oh, did I get that on tape? Uh, I said, uh, this explains it. Looks like this was some sort of cannon. And, uh, Actually, I know enough Japanese to know that that's the symbol for cannon. So, this was this this must have been some sort of artillery place during the war. Um, the, the the other thing about water pressure power might have been how they powered the cannon, or I don't know. But uh, they had some sort of big cannon here that was shooting at things during the war. All right, now that I understand a little bit better, here's a recap. Same map, but this time this is, um, now I know what I'm doing. So I went around here. That's over there where that rest stop is. Ah, uh, focus, right, right there. Then I followed this path over here. Now at this point along the beach, the path kind of gets lost. So I turned around and came back. Had I continued, it's overgrown, but it will, con it will join up there. What I did instead is I went down here, and then I climbed up the mountain here, then I went there, that's the point where it would have uh, joined up had it not been overgrown. Went over there, to the peninsula for the lookout, and I came back, and then when I went up there to the top, which I didn't know what it was, but it turns out that that was a, a cannon at one point, artillery, that was, I guess, defending Japan from incoming planes, and then I came back down. And that's the spark in the nutshell.